Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's show. Welcome to Equality and Rights for All. I'm your host, Anthony Laredo Duke, and we have an interesting topic for today's show in which it is the headquarters of city government agencies need to have proper communication with the local borough government uh, city government agencies and get their stuff together and get on one page, the same page. So let's get right into this. You know, uh, when you have city government agencies, like HRA, okay, there is zero communication between the city headquarter agency and the local borough city agencies. Mean, meaning that the uh, city HRA headquarters has no communication with the other HRA city government agencies throughout the other boroughs of uh, New York City. Okay? And that is the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, that things get screwed up majorly for the consumers for the consumers that have to deal with a with uh city HRA offices and if they if if the consumers go to their local borough city HRA office those HRA workers tell those consumers one story, but if those same consumers go to the headquarters, if they go to the headquarters, meaning if they go to the HRA headquarters in the city, those HRA workers tell those same consumers a completely different story. This crap needs to stop. Okay? It needs to stop. If they just communicate with each other and have proper communication, get on the same page already. Seriously. Honestly. The crap needs to stop. And here's another reason why the HRA government workers really don't give a crap about anybody else but themselves. It's because those HRA workers are unionized. They're unionized. So they can't get into any sort of trouble, really. Honestly. With the exception of if the higher brass government 
sends in investigators to the HRA offices and those investigators confiscate the computers and stuff of the HRA workers, then those HRA workers can get arrested on a higher level. And if those and if those HRA workers are caught doing major illegal acts, their asses can go to prison. And the reason why I bring this up, ladies and gentlemen, is because that's what happened a few a, a few years ago at a local HRA city government office. And um, after those HRA city government uh, agency workers got arrested, the higher brass of it of uh, the administration of HRA said, "Hey, we can't shut down that office. We got to get other workers in there, and we're exposed now." And uh, for this uh, specific HRE department, and we got to get our heads out of our asses and and fix our stuff. So it wasn't until they were exposed like that, and those HRA city government workers got arrested. That's what it took because it was found out that those particular HRA city government workers were stealing food stamp money from the consumers. Stealing it. So a higher government agency caught on to things and because uh, there was lots of complaints about uh, that particular HRA uh, food stamp office and then before you know it investigators went in confiscated the computers and everything of those HRA food stamp workers bing bang boom they got arrested and uh HRA had to had to fix that situation for that office, and um, but now HRA workers are doing uh, other stuff, and I'm not saying that it's illegal, but when you have an HRA headquarters, an HRA city headquarters having no proper communication with the other local borough HRA city government offices, they're screwing things up left and right. And that's not right to treat the consumers like that. It's not. And we need a city mayor's administration to tell these HRA city agencies get your brains out of your asses stop being a bunch of fuck ups all of your life get your shit together and get it done no more hiding behind excuses oh we're short staffed or whatever fuck all that shit Fuck all that shit, because you guys have been fucking up for decades. Okay? No more hiding behind shit. No more excuses. Get your heads out of your asses. Do your fucking jobs. Get a proper communication. End of story, or you lose your fucking jobs. That's what we need for the mayor administration to enforce 
on uh, city HRA government offices. We need it. We, this is what we need to have done. And prove it. Don't just say it. Prove it, too. Say, if you, if you don't believe me, watch what I do to you assholes who fuck up big time. And you're not going to like it. And do it. Do it. Show these HRA city government agency workers the shit is not going to be tolerated. End of story. That's what we need. It's desperately needed. But anyways, I want to remind all my fans out there about the website that my husband and I have together called AWLDNY. The link to there is AWLDNY.com. You guys can check out all the products on there, all the products that you see on there. We actually make ourselves. And I also wanted to remind all my fans out there about my other business, my other website that I have called Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is AIHNY.com. Again, that is AIHNY.com. You guys can check out all the pages on there on the homepage of my website of Advocate Information Highway. You'll see the link to my internet store on Zazzle.com in which I designed a lot of products that are up for sale on there. Also on the homepage of my website at Advocate Information Highway, you'll see the links to the two books that I wrote. And if you guys follow those links, you guys can check out and purchase both of my books as well. And so with that, take care, everybody.